Hey you, stop! There's a link down in the description below that's gonna lead you to the game and its developer. Go support cool people. Enjoy the video. Well, hello there. This is Return, and yes, I've played this game before. A very, very long time ago. About 2017, I believe it was, that I played this game. And I am ridiculously excited to be getting back into it because it looks incredible. Holy crap. The developers have been working on this for a while. I mean, I, I found it on Game Jolt way back in 2017 and made like three videos of it. So it was a kind of short game way back when, but uh, apparently it's, it's getting a brand new release and it, it's on Steam. I found it while I was looking uh, towards the... Uh, packs, uh, games that are coming out and stuff like that. So, this is a playable demo right now. So, if you really want to go and play this, you can absolutely do so right now. But the game does come out fully in October. So, I'm really looking forward to that. But regardless of it, let's just go ahead and get right into it so we can start seeing exactly what this demo is about to offer us. Ooh, death leaves a heartache no one can heal. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. From an Irish headstone. Huh. Okay. This game saves data manually. Okay. Use a telephone to manually save your progress. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's something to look forward to when the game fully comes out. Awesome. No auto saves. Ooh. Yeesh. Oh, I was totally thinking this was going to be voice, but apparently not. But this looks really, really good so far. And before she could scream, a huge, slimy claw clamped over her mouth. The creature dragged her into the shadows, and she was never seen again. Yuta, why'd you tell us such a scary story? Hello? We're sitting around a campfire in the middle of the woods. What did you expect? I think Saki prefers romance. Who ever heard of a campfire romance? Uh, many people, thank you. That poor girl. Never seen again. What if that's us? What if we never see each other again? Oh, calm down. What are you talking about, babe? We're done with school. After this trip, we start... adulting. <laughs> How terrible. Most of us have jobs in different cities. Sen and Saki are getting married. Really? You all look like you're, like, 14. We may never see each other again. Don't be such a downer. I, I honestly, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I'm guessing it's Kani or Kane or uh, Kena. We can never lose touch with each other. If I knew. Ooh. Hey. Hello, owl boy. <laughs> ah, <laughs> very scary. What the? Did you guys see that? How? Saki, are you alright? I'm trying to voice this as decent as possible. Yeah, I'm fine. It just startled me. You okay, babe? Hey, babe, you okay? I'm just trying to make sure my manly manpower. Besides the heart attack, I'm okay. How could that have happened? Uh, I don't know. Wind? I don't know. Maybe there was gas or oil. What do you mean there was gas or oil on the wood? Why would that? Okay, whatever. For an infernal geyser like that, the wood would have had to been soaked. I didn't smell any gas or oil. Did any of you? I mean, I smelt something, but I'm pretty sure it was drugs. Not I. Who <laughs> says not I? Man, that was scarier than your story, bro. Scary or not, I'm getting cold. Maybe we should just turn in then. We're out of wood anyway. But Sen... Shouldn't we have a fire burning all night? You know, to keep the wolves or something? Oh, pff. it's fine. There aren't wolves. There's just spooky owls and things that make fire go really, really high. We're zombies. Yeah. Z yep, absolutely. They'd be drawn to the fire. Maybe. They burn easily, so we could just set them on fire. Stop making fun. I'd feel safer if we had a fire. Sen, please. Korsaki, I love you, babe. Okay, let's scrounge up some firewood. 
Sweet, let's separate. That's the best thing. Everybody knows from Scooby-Doo that that's the best idea. Can we just wait for zombies? Have a firewood come to us? Wow, lazy much? How about we go in groups? Us manly men will go this way to the right. Girls, you search to the left. There's three men and two girls. You want the two only girls in the group to go by themselves? Good idea, bro. Manly men, please. Real nice. All right. Don't worry, I'm back. Saki, let's go. Maybe they'll get eaten by zombies and we won't have to put them up. Blah, put up with them anymore. Ugh. Sorry. I thought we were still in a cutscene, but apparently this is just the way that it's going to be forever. So let's just do this. Uh, I very obviously don't need a mouse here. It's too dark. Saki, grab your flashlight. Did I? Do I have a flashlight? Hello? Flashlight should be in my backpack. Yep, here it is. <laughs> Why was that such a spooky sound? Might as well. Oh no, a flashlight! Might as well take my notebook too. <laughs> Why is that such a spooky sound? <laughs> All right. I had to open inventory after talk of flashlight. Edie used to like the item. Okay. Girl's tent. Smells much nicer than the boy's tent. I'm sure it does. <laughs> Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a douche in the middle of the night. Oh, that owl. I love the effects in this. This is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Uh, I have Saki's notebook where she collects and organize. This belongs to Saki. I tend to forget things or forgot things. I tend to forgot things. Might want to fix that before release. Uh, so I write any important stuff here. Moving on, apparently. Okay, I guess that's the only page that I've written in my notebook so far. Can we grab that? Ugh. This wood is way too wet. We better keep looking. Well, all right. Sure. Why didn't we bring, why didn't we bring like an axe or something? <gasps> Sticks! There, this is dry enough to burn. Let's head back to a campsite. Dry wood. Nice. Spooky dry wood. Ooh. Clear jade colored lake. At its center, a gnarled willow tree. That sounds so dope. Stands in silent vigil. Wow. Nice. That's, that's nice. Oh. Oh no, a letter. What's it, what's it say? <laughs> the letter B. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. Hey, what blew out of that tree up ahead? It doesn't look like a leaf. It, it really doesn't. Now look at this. An envelope. <gasps> a letter. What could it possibly mean? <laughs> Message in. Oh, my. You probably shouldn't open it. Why? It flew from a tree. What do you think? It's going to have, like, some kind of freaking weird disease. Maybe it does have a disease. I don't know. I can't know that. Uh, Bad luck. Bad luck from opening a letter from a tree? Don't be silly. Let's see. Wow. She's really cute, by the way. What is it? It's a haiku. Haiku. And it's addressed to me. Listen, it. That's not. Okay, yeah. First of all, it just randomly came out of a tree, and you're just getting. All right. My dear Saki. You rise like the sun, bright, warm, nurturing, my love. Now is meant for us. Dash dash X X O O. All right. Why? Nice, but a little cheese ball, if you ask me. Why the heck wouldn't it be? It's a it's a letter flying down from a tree. It's sweet. I love it. Do you really? Of course. How could I not? Wow. You really are a romantic, falling for that stuff, but how'd it get here? I must have fallen out of Sen's backpack, and the wind carried it away. He'll be so... Th That's very plausible, yes. He'll be so disappointed if he thinks that he lost it. <gasps> Ooh. But... No. I know, when we get back to the campsite, I'll slip it into his backpack. Do it. I don't want to spoil his surprise, so don't say anything. You opened it up! It was, like, tied. Are you just gonna tie... I'm guessing you probably just tied again. Never mind. Okay, I promise. Why are you taking so long to move? Look at these fireflies. God, this game is so pretty. Really upgraded the graphics. I'm, I'm honestly loving this so far. It's looking really, really good. I'm so happy that they decided to like do like a re-release of this, you know, of sorts. Embers of the campfire. Why did it go out so suddenly? I don't know, man. Wind blew it over. 
Don't go wandering off, Saki. That fire's not gonna light itself. Fine. Do it, do it, do it. I'll just toss these on the embers. Noise. Great. Wood's burning already. Good job. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. A good job. Boy's tent. Sen's backpack is near the front. You should probably put that letter away. There. I've tucked the envelope in Sen's backpack. He'll never know it was missing. Yeah. Totally, totally was from him. Oh, I should turn my flashlight. Ah, oh, never mind. Hello, boys. I have found fire. Looks like the girls beat us to it, guys. Ah, uh, we just got lucky. We didn't have to go far. We didn't, you didn't get lucky. We let you win. I didn't know it was a competition. Come on, babe. Think about it. When don't boys have easy access to wood? <laughs> I'm talking about my dick. Don't be disgusting. Psh, you're just jealous. <laughs> I'm sure there's a scary campfire story in there somewhere. Something about a fiend that burns wood. And on that note, I think it's time to get to sleep. We'll just let the fire burn down and... What's this? You're not to pretend, Sen. Kana, and I, I really wish I knew how to say that name. Found it near the lake. Must have fallen out of your backpack. It's beautiful IQ. It is. Whoever wrote this has a major crush on you. But I didn't write this. You mean you got it off the internet? You mean you got it off your... Why were you on your phone? We're supposed to be distancing from reality. Society sucks. Long live Mother Nature! Alright. No, I mean that I didn't write this. Someone else did. Someone else here. Alright, which one of you motherfuckers is after my girl? Which one of you did it? Saki's my fiance! Trying to steal her? I'ma fuck you up, boy! I sure didn't write it. I mean, love you, Saki. It's a friend, but Kana is my girl. It wasn't me, I swear. I mean, there's not a romantic bone in my body. <laughs> I'm gay! You could've just said that. I don't believe you. You're always trying to fuck. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peace out. Spill it, Utah. Wait, what? Wow, this looks so good. Whoa, cowboy. Can't be Utah. You're gay anyway, right, buddy? Oh, oh, he is gay. Okay, you know what? You didn't have to out him like that, bro. That's pretty shitty. Why would you, Kazuki? Sen, don't. Bullshit, I've seen the way he looks at Saki. Especially on this trip. Bitch, get wrecked. I'm guessing that's why you came alone. Not that I've ever seen you with a girlfriend in forever. Uh, literally just let out the bag that he's gay. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's probably why he hasn't had a girlfriend in forever. Are you crazy? I'm serious. I, I literally couldn't romance a stone. You're killing me, Sen. Oh, oh god, you're actually gonna kill me. Never seen you like this, Sen. Is that why you follow us around like a puppy, hoping maybe Saki will leave me and you'll swoop in? Wow, he's really angry. Fright. Like that would ever work. Get it through your head, buddy. We're getting married. Sen, why are you being so mean? He's our friend. Maybe I'm not your friend after all. Maybe I never was. Just, what's your problem, man? No, don't. Run off, dude. It's like the middle of the night in a forest. I should go after him. No, goo yeah, let him be all by himself in a huge forest where there's probably bears, wolves, and who freaking knows it. Slender man's on his way, don't worry. Especially one person I can think of. But Saki, no, you bitch, go to bed. We'll sort it out later. You ain't getting none of this tonight. Will he be okay out there? It'll be fine. We just all need to calm down. We see a chill pill, man. He's gotta chill. Somebody break out the bong. Tomorrow we'll all wake up and be friends again like always. You'll see. I oh, know, man. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be dead. I'm just saying. I'm, I got a feeling. I don't like that at all. Okay. Ooh. 